Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Land Rover Freelander. Then I'll take you for a ride in it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. Um, no doubt in shot you can see there, this road's about two miles long. And Tom Hanks there has decided to pull up right behind me. <laughs> Those are the brakes, I'm afraid. It's a Freelander 2 2.2 SD4 HSE, uh, four-wheel drive of course. 2012 on a 62 plate, one owner from new real good specification and it has a full service history the car's done 87,163 miles fuel economy urban 32.5 miles per gallon extra urban is 48.7 miles per gallon and combined is 40.4 miles per gallon 0 to 60 time is 8.7 seconds top speed of 118 miles per hour out of 190 brake horsepower four cylinder 16 valve engine Road tax, six months is £145.75 and 12 months is £265. The noise you can hear is not the engine of this ticking over, it's the uh, FedEx driver in the lorry that's parked just behind me, uh, him and Wilson having a chat there. Um, LED uh, headlights in there, the kind of running lights, silver grille, the grey Land Rover badge, front parking sensors, front fog lamps, high pressure headlamp wash, it's the five twin spoke um, alloy wheels. It's got Pirelli Scorpion Verde uh, all weathers tires on. So they're a little bit noisier than the normal ones, but they're, they're good for any surface or any terrain. Power folding door mirrors, and it's got the twin roofs at the top with the glass folding panel at the front. Um, the door protectors there running the length of the car plenty of room in the back it's got a the roller blind cover there it's got full-size spare wheel one thing I forgot to point out there is a scuff on the rear bumper which uh, will get done before it goes out apart from that's a very tidy car I think this colour is sand or oyster, <laughs> the proper name escapes me as it usually does. Nice nice and light, looks lovely in the back here, the carpet over mats, you've got your second sunroof here so it's nice and light. The Isofix child rear seat anchor points, rear armrest there, three headrests, airbags in the A pillar, the B pillar, the C pillar. Um, not sure about the D but there are speakers in the D pillar it's got um, the Meridium sound uh, system which is really really good if you like music uh, you, you'll enjoy it nice and clean in the back here nice and comfortable you do have to if you're an adult you, you do have to put the um, headrests up to avoid them sticking right in the back of your neck but uh, ni nice car lovely car Okay, I'll just take you for a ride in it. Got the two, well, it's the, the Range Rover type modern keys. Um, if I'm honest, I prefer the old ones, the, the brick size ones. Um, foot on the brake. Let's just turn the fan down. Foot on the brake, keyless ignition, press the start button, and that's it. So away we go. Uh, good service history on this car. Ooh, that looks a bit close. I, I'm getting the blame. <laughs> I parked here and then that car parked over there. <laughs> you can't win, can you? Anyway, um, here we go. So, first service. 16th of 12, 2013, 7,734 at Clarkson 4x4. 2nd of 12, 2014, 18,458 miles, Clarkson 4x4. And 8th of 12, 2015, 30,229 miles, Ribblesdale Land Rover. And 
9th of 12, 2016, 42,945 miles, uh, Midgley motor cars. 1st of 12, 2017 at 55,208, Midgley motor cars again. 21st 11, 2018, 65,645 Midgley motor cars. 18th 11, 2019 at 77,271 at, um, I can't, looks like MMC, MMC Garage, Grassington. And then wheel service it again before it goes out. It's done 87169 now. Here we go. Actually, before I do that, it's got electric memory seats, so we'll we'll just we'll just try the memory seats. Position one. I think that's position one there. Position, position one, position two. Somebody with short legs and long arms there. Looks like all three drivers are roughly the same size. So electric memory seats, three position memory seats. Just uh, get a bit further away there. a good accessory not as good as heated steering wheel and heated seats on a day like today so automatic uh, we've got power folding door mirrors and also the other accessory I, I like well two more accessories I like on this car to be fair the kind of panoramic roof although it's a big glass panel at the front which goes up or goes all the way back or god forbid the sun should get too hot on your head you can you can pull that blind across but I like it makes the inside of the car all nice light and airy and we've also got a heated front screen which has been an absolute godsend the last few days and uh, should be standard on all cars. Drives really nice. I say it's, it's got the uh, all-weather tyres on, so they're slightly noisy. It's a bit of a compromise between uh, sound and good grip in awful weather. So uh, I'm sure you'd rather put up with a little bit of noise than skid into a ditch or something. So. Uh, Steering wheel slightly off kilter here. I think the tracking's just slightly out, which if you do buy it off us, I will try and remember when I get back. Um, but uh, it's it's only just come in, it's not been cleaned properly, it's just as it's come in. It uh, as I mentioned before, there is a scuff on the rear bumper, which will uh, will do. Here we go, 2.2 engine, in kick down there. Gets away fairly smartish. Quite sure why he's accelerating into the back of that white van. We've also got, if you knock the gear selector across there, you can change up or down like, sorry, the other way around, change down or up like so, and just knock it up. So there you go. Meridian speakers as well, which is, uh, which is brilliant. It's got Bluetooth hands-free, Bluetooth audio streaming, uh, sat-nav. seats are there, climate control, actually somebody was asking me the other day where the auxiliary, ah it's there, 
auxiliary in and also USB in and there's a there's a power socket along with two cup holders and another power socket at the front pull that down I'm going to drop behind this i3 As I say, the sound system is pretty good. Um, if we go here over to my music, um, got Joni Mitchell playing, but um, just trying to think, uh, keep it down. Go into settings there, audio settings, and there you've got stereo, Meridian, Dolby Pro Logic, and I think that's Dolby DTS Digital, um, which is the Meridian in, in this. The Meridian surround sound is uh, is absolutely brilliant. You've also got here subwoofer, treble, and bass control, and then you've got balance and fade. So if you're not balance and fade on, you can actually set it as usual, a little bit selfish, so that the the driver is the centre of the universe. Let me just uh, change it to automatic again there. Lovely, comfortable car to drive. Nice, nice colour combination. I'm assuming it's Santorini black and uh, the oyster stroke sand leather, whichever it is. Steering wheel nice and toasty. It's really cold outside today, so uh, I'm glad of this steering wheel. Also, everything in Land Rovers up to uh, probably the latest model where they've been, uh, I don't know, perhaps somebody else has taken over design. Everything dead easy to use. The sat nav's really easy. So is the Bluetooth hands-free. And also, you know, stuff like this, there you can change mode, you can change from DVD to radio and, and so on. And uh, let's just see. In the end there, click in the end. Just get around the roundabout first. I can't actually. It's um, tilt and slide steering wheel. Let's get on here, but if I I just have to look up there because they've got the steering wheel too high for me to see at the bottom. Average fuel consumption, instantaneous fuel, distance to empty, and uh, that's, there's the mileage. It's telling you what gear you're in and also how many miles you're doing uh, in a digital speedo. go back to uh, sat nav over here which we can get to like so you've got to agree that you're not going to be distracted and uh, as I say all these switches you don't really have to take your eye off the road for instance the sat, uh, sat nav <laughs> the cruise control is, is like there one one touch cruise control if I press it it will speed up Noise coming off that lorry. I don't know what it was. I'm just going to the inside lane here. Approaching Numskull roundabout. We'll see what delights <laughs> we the drivers hold for us today. There. Here's your phone controls. cancel you can turn your volume up there click tracks like so 
and there's your terrain response which I always forget what Richard Hammond said and people always remind me in the comments from what I can remember the, the one with the cactus there that's for driving in Mexico the one with the snowflakes is for driving at Christmas and I can't remember that that equally could be driving at Christmas because it looks like there's a, a, a Christmas tree next to the car so I'll have to look them up again and try and learn them off by heart coming off here get uh, back I'll show you how to set a sat nav how to pair your mobile how to delete a mobile and how to stream audio from the system we've got the snow warning there it's only one degrees out uh, outside around here this is where the ribble is the river ribble uh, comes alongside here this place always floods we, we're very low here and you can see there's uh, a lot of mist even though we've got a fairly high center of gravity I can uh, feed the kid him reading his clipboard I was frightened to death of him running into me he's now I'll tell you what this, this roundabout honestly there's, there is just something about it. I'm now frightened of him running. So that, that chap there, it's so cold he's got gloves on. But with my heated steering wheel, no problems. coming off here really lovely cars we, we are moving more and more towards specializing in Land Rovers and Range Rovers and uh, No, no doubt everybody out there will be going oh, Land Rovers and Range Rovers go wrong they don't they don't go wrong any more than any other model of car in fact they go wrong less um, in my experience than BMWs and Mercedes and uh, I, I've, been, I've been trying to I've been trying to figure out why and I think it's because, and I could be wrong here, I think it's because people buy Land Rovers and Range Rovers with their own money, whereas Mercedes-Benz and um, BMWs, I think a large percentage of them are company cars. So if anything goes wrong, they just take it in and the company pays for it. Whereas if it's your own money, like a lot of retired people, by Range Rovers and Land Rovers. A lot of farmers, um, again, they, they pay for it with their own money. So when it's your own money, you tend to remember it more than just dropping your company car off and signing for it when you pick it up. But, you know, really, I think they are so well made, uh, so substantial, everything is for, for just driving on a normal road, they're made to go off-road. So just driving on a normal road is, is absolutely no trouble. And uh, sure, things things go wrong. Um, occasionally, things like the suspension air compressors go wrong. But Land Rover, 
they don't make them it's another firm that make them <laughs> they're, they're fitted to a Land Rover but as far as the engines go and, and other stuff and the running gear they're, um, they're, they're kind of pretty indestructible I would say um, anyway I like driving around in them they're my favourite car <laughs> um, I way way prefer them to BMWs in fact I don't like BMWs um, I don't like the way they drive I don't like the way they style these days and uh, I, I we sell a lot but I don't like them but it wouldn't do for us all to be the same but this it's just you know it, it's so easy to drive and automatic you, you just feel like you're you in your armchair and no hassle you can go go over a pothole without jarring your fillings out just great cars anyway shortly I think we've got a Fiesta ST 1 litre which I'll be trying to video won't, it's Friday today so it's going to be Monday before I get around to that we should which I'm waiting for um, a Range Rover 4.4 which I, I really like love the engines in them what else have we got we've got we've got four vans all the same uh, but uh, when I went to video one of them two of my cameras won't work and also my uh, audio recorder was pretty hit and miss I've got a new one now and uh, I'll try and get those done uh, we've got a Mivano van, a Peugeot Boxer van. What else? Oh, and, and uh, we've taken an old Honda in. And uh, if if the the chap's watching, who part exchanged the Honda, I, I did a video of a, a Land Rover Discovery. And from the information that we get about who's watched the video and how often they watch it, I uploaded it at. Uh, I started press the upload about 11 o'clock at night it was um, takes a couple of hours to upload to YouTube and then about an hour later it looked like the first viewing for the customer and then he continued to watch it over the weekend then he rang up uh, Monday morning having just didn't see it on Autotrader or eBay or Gumtree or whatever the others are that we we advertise on he saw it on YouTube because he's a subscriber and honestly you've no idea how good it feels that's a that's a sale just brought about not through advertising not because people he, he said himself he wasn't even looking for a car he just liked it in the video so it's a deal from nothing which um, in if you're an old-fashioned salesman like myself who who's not used to just sitting there and waiting for customers coming in you try and make something happen try and be proactive it's um, it's, it's a good feeling so if anybody else who's watching YouTube wants a car give us a shout let's see what we can do it certainly cuts down on expenses and uh, might help us retire just that bit quicker because <laughs> If we don't have to pay all the advertising bills, we'd definitely be able to retire. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.